Today's video is gonna be a different style of video. Behind us is Aldi, and we're in Brooksville. There are several Aldis throughout Florida and the United States. We like to go to Aldi to get our groceries. Now there are a few reasons why we are coming to Aldi. One is to get groceries, because we're out. Two is to show you that it's not always eating out. We do actually get groceries and cook at home. Yep. It's not as fun, No. but we do it. Three is, for those who have not been to Aldi, you might not know kind of the style that Aldi does. It's a little different than your normal grocery store. Mm -hmm. And we'll explain on that inside. And then four, we still have yet to get a pumpkin to carve for Halloween. So we are hoping that Aldi will still have some pumpkins in there that are relatively inexpensive that we can get today and then carve before Halloween. We'll see. Let's go check it out. I'm not sure of the hours, but I think they're right there on the door. And then tip number one, whenever you come to Aldi, if you plan on getting several groceries, what should you do? Bring a quarter. Bring a quarter. You can see quarter in, quarter back. So look, you just push in the quarter. This thing pops out. Sometimes they're a little tricky if they are not working very well. That one's not working very well, so we'll try this one. You just push it in there. This pops out like that, and you got your cart. It's so you return, return it. Yeah, instead of them being all the way out in the parking lot, it's so you will return the cart. Second tip, bring a jacket. Bring a cold, jacket, usually. it is cold in there. And you can see, look, voted number one for price for five years running. Here are the hours, Monday through Friday, nine to eight, Saturday, nine to eight, Sunday, nine to eight. They're all nine to eight. And then do not enter, come this way. And this is where you will start the grocery shopping. This is like your first aisle and each Aldi store is kind of set up the same. Like your fruits and vegetables are all at the front. So there's fruits, vegetables, salads. Um, and then as you work your way around, we just kind of go like this way, down the aisles, back and forth until you get to the end. They really have a lot of good salads in here as well. And something they really do good of is the Simply Nature Organic brand. They have a lot of organic products in here. You're not gonna see like name brand stuff. Right. So you're not gonna see like the typical brands you see at Walmart or you know other places like that. Um, but Simply Nature is one of all these brands and it's good. Yeah. And then right along this wall is your bread aisle. So you can see down that way, we're gonna head right down to the very end. So like with the chip aisle, Clancy's is kind of like their brand of chips. They still have that Simply Nature, like see over here, Simply Nature kind. Please. Yeah. What are they? Are these the right ones? Let's see. These yes, are really they're good. very good. Um, but they also have like, see there's Chex Mix. So they do have variety. Like over here they have Pringles. There's that Simply Nature brand. Whoa, and then like some like regular chips. Then over here they have some like breakfast items, all your refrigerated items. And you can see if you look down this way, all their cold stuff. They also sometimes throw in some fun flavors. Look at this, goat cheese eggnog, goat cheese sweet cranberry stuffing, and goat cheese gingerbread. We've had the, cran not this sweet cranberry stuffing, but they have one that's like, it's cranberry or blackberry or something. And then we've also had the honey kind of this, but I haven't seen these like <laughs> seasonal ones. I have to try eggnog. Look at the little goats with the little <laughs> If you're a hummus fan, they have these awesome dessert hummus. They had a dark chocolate one and that was really good. We might try this cookie butter Cookie kind. butter, snickerdoodle, sea salt, caramel. Yeah, they did have dark chocolate, which maybe it is back there. I can't tell, but it's very good as well. So we just came from there. Now we're down this aisle. They've got some drinks, some waffles, got some juices, cereals. And on this side, some more veggies, because that's the front door right there. Ooh, look at all the squashes they have. Dressings. Here is the, all the nuts, which I like their pistachios, and pistachios are not cheap. They also have some of the most random home items and other items it's just crazy it's just some random stuff but like look at this outdoor like gazebo step ladder 
rugs. Now we're gonna head down this next aisle. This is the, this is considered the fun aisle. This is where all the random stuff is. And each store is different and each week there's different stuff down this aisle. Chopping block, some containers, some gnomes, some fall items, little Halloween pet beds. Here's some candy. Continuing this way, here's some peanut butter, honey, and this is kind of like your toiletries, kitchen, cleaning, tissues, pet, baby food, your cheese section and deli meat section. Happy Farms is another one of their brands. You can see Happy Farms by Aldi. Now, one thing we really like, but we're gonna go with the cauliflower this time, but this five cheese pizza, 16 inch pizza, we can eat it for days. It's massive. It's very, very good. And it's only $4.99 for like at least three meals. Now, something we really haven't had luck with is their meats. Their chicken's fine. And then actually their fish is fine. But as far as like their beef and stu stuff, we really like their steak. We really haven't had the best of luck with it. So we usually skip that and go to like Publix or Walmart for that but um, their salmon's good and they've got some good chicken over on that side also when workers are done with boxes if you need boxes to help pack your stuff they'll give you some boxes we just came from there now we're down this aisle they've got some soups and then on this side they've got like your seasonings there's some tuna I know there's like tuna packets down here that we've gotten before 85 cents and they've got different flavors lemon regular and I think there is a uh, sweet and sour. Those are good. They have, is it here that they have the everything seasoning that we really like? Yeah, yeah down there? Yeah. Here's some pasta and noodles. Then on down, some tortillas. And on this side, we kind of have the baking items. They do have some good um, cane sugar. That's the Simply Nature cane sugar. We get that kind, we like that. Typically we would go down this aisle, but it's a little busy. So we're gonna circle around, go down this aisle and then finish up here by the checkout counters. We have gotten this Wicked Grove hard cider. It's really good. It kind of tastes like um, Angry Orchard, kind of like a knockoff Angry Orchard. Uh, looks like they've got spiced plum. That's interesting. Cranberry, and then there's the crisp apple. Here are the eggs, milk, wine. Oh, something about the wine. Go ahead and share the wine if you want. Is it that one right there? You wanna grab one? $2.95. And I can tell you what, if you like sweet wine that tastes very good, sweet red is where it's at for $2.95. It's very good wine, we like the it. holidays, they do like that advent calendar with all their wine serving. Ooh, maybe, I don't remember, but that'd be cool if they do. And then here are the creams, yogurts. Move on past that. They got butter, orange juice, bacon, and then over here, some more of the meats. There's some waters. We usually go for the organic cage-free eggs right here with the Simply Nature kind. We are back down this aisle that we couldn't go down earlier. There's sparkling fresh cranberry apple cider. They've got some LaCroix. Then here's some more fun items. I mean, look, look at these baskets. <laughs> They've got a mouse. Trash cans. And then I do like looking in here because these are always different. So you can find different frozen things each time you come in. There's a pumpkin pie. And this is where you'll check out right up here. Some turkeys. Here's your desserts, fruits, breakfast, meals. Look at this plant-based peanut butter, non-dairy frozen dessert bar. Snackable cookie dough. French fries. Over here they've got stuffed clams, shrimp, ginger beer. And then over here's some frozen meats, which we've gotten the frozen shrimp here before and it's good. Like right here, this medium cooked shrimp vegetables there's white castle burgers some more pizza and i think that's that i think we finished our lap 
Also, when you're checking out, you place all of your items up here and then they push it all into a different cart and then you can take your cart. You can unpack it over there, but we unpack it at our car, so we'll show you that. But in case you forgot bags or you need different bags, here's some bags here. Now you bag your own items, so they don't have any grocery bags for you. So tip number two is bring like a cooler and bring your own bags that you can organize it yourself with. Because if you forget, you're gonna either have to carry them or they're gonna be loose or buy one of their bags. So this is what our cart looks like. I'm gonna be curious to see how many items we have and what the price is per item. You can see how the process works. So we put one of these up and we just start throwing all of the stuff up here. And then at the very end, they have another cart. I'll show you what it looks like. So you'll just move your cart where that cart's at. So you can pack all your stuff up over here if you bring a bag in, but we always take ours out to the car and we'll show you how we organize it. And then on the way out, something that you love to do is add to the next week. yes grab the sneak peek you got one yep. for next week right there now that we're leaving we can look at the receipt and we got 71 items now anytime we go to walmart and get 71 items usually $700. not really but you get the point usually i think lately it's been like 340 dollars or so at walmart and we usually don't even get 71 items we usually get like 50 so 71 items and the total is two hundred dollars and 65 cents so honestly really pretty cheap for 71 items that's i mean almost two what two dollars two dollars fifty cents per item so really good and just in case you didn't believe me two hundred dollars and 65 cents so pretty cheap 71 items now here's our other tip. This is how we unpack our Aldi items. We've got them all in the cart there. Like I said, some people go ahead and do it inside. We like to do it at the car. So we've got um, we've got a few other groceries we got today too, but we've got like all of our insulated stuff and a cooler and a bag and we'll put we them all. We didn't bring any ice packs today, but we don't have far. So yeah. we, uh, we try to put them all in like the same like if you have chips, you put them all in there, and that way when you go yeah, inside. Like dried goods, pantry items, canned food, like they all just go in and like where we would put them in our house in like pantry type thing. Right. And then all of the cold and freezer items. Right. Together. Yeah. So that's what we do. And see, we've got it all packed up so we can just grab bag. We know those are all relatively the same things. Those are the same things. You got refrigerated stuff and refrigerated stuff. And now we take the cart back because we want our quarterback. Now you also might get lucky, there might be people walking in that want a cart, so they'll just give you their quarter and then you can just give them the cart. But um, the thing is that make sure they give you a quarter because one time somebody said, oh, I can take your cart. And we usually just keep one quarter in the car just for Aldi. And so I was like, oh, do you got your quarter? And he's like, quarter? And I was like, yeah, I need a quarter because I won't have a quarter to do the cart. But the way this works is push it back. Then that little go a little aggressive, I do that, that little doodad goes right in there and it pops a quarter right back out. Good to go. All right, I know that was a different style of video, but hopefully it was informative. And if you've never been to Aldi, you now know what the Aldi experience is like. It's a little different. A little different. Our first time, we were kind of confused. We didn't bring bags or anything. Or didn't so have we, a quarter. We were, yeah, we didn't have a quarter. We were asking the employees like for boxes and stuff just to carry our stuff out to the car. Yeah, but, but you can always buy the bags in store too. Yeah, so. and there was no pumpkins. So we're still on the pumpkin hunt. We'll probably just have to maybe run to Walmart or something. Probably won't film that just because we'll just run and grab pumpkins so we can carve them. But I feel like typically earlier in the season, they do have pumpkins, but I'm not sure. I feel like I've seen them there before. It might depend on each store. Yeah, that's true. But that was our shopping trip. Yes, we do cook food at home. And it's not always fun and games around the Altem life. Although we like to just show the fun and games. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.